YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate everybody coming here. As you can see, this is going to be a mid-fade taper with my fast fees. And I'm telling you right now, it is 2020 and we still have a place for the fast feeds. So right here, we're going in with the number one guard. I left the lever open and we're just going to go all the way around with this. And the reason why I made this video is because I know there's a lot of cordless um, the industry is basically just going cordless but i'm telling you right now the fast feeds still have a place in 2020. uh i love uh they're not the they don't have the fastest motor but they do give out one of the best blends and this is just this is just a tool that i really like using that is slipped on and that uh you know if you feel the same way, please leave something in the comment section and let me know what you think of the fast feeds. What would be dope if they did come out with some fast feeds, some cordless ones. And if they, if they could do that, then uh, yeah, I'm getting them. But I already made a promise that uh, 2020 I ain't making, a, I ain't getting no more clippers. But uh, they better not come out the, the cordless fast feeds then. So right here, as you can see, I had the number three guard. I'm just going all the way up. I'm just going straight up up against the Prado Ridge and uh, we want to fade down from here he wanted like I said it's a mid fade with the taper so basically I started out with the fade first and then I'm going to taper taper it out I really would like to know, you know, people's opinions on the fast feeds. If you're a fan of the fast feeds, tell me your reason and why you like the fast feeds so much, or tell me the reason why you don't like them that much. I really would like to know. I'm kind of interested, but as y'all can see, this is number two guard, and it's coming, it's coming, to, you know, coming along real good. You know, blending down is like one of my favorite ways to fade, but um. I know a lot of people, you know, they fade a little bit different than I do, but this is something I found out that works, you know, for me. And also, we're going to talk about some things in this video that I had to do, uh, had to adjust some things real, you know, in a way. So hopefully you guys will understand why I did the steps that I did. Now, I believe I closed the lever now. I'm just trying to get out uh, the back area, as you guys can see. Like, he has two areas where it's really uh, condensed, where it's really, really dark at. Now, I have the one and a half guard. Now, I know and is the purple magnetic guards. They came out with the one and a half guard and the 0 0.5 guard. I do use both of them in this video. I will honestly have to say the one and a half guard definitely has use. Like it definitely has a place uh, in, at my station. But to be honest, the 0 0.5 guard, it's terrible. I, I really don't like it. it. I don't, I'm not sure why they made it the top of the, the purple magnetic 0 0.5 guard. It looks like the top is look, looks like knuckles. It's not like pointed like all the other purple magnetic guards, but this one is like like rounded off, and it doesn't know justice. To be honest, like it's it's just terrible. All right, so as you guys can see on the left side of his head, he has a few light spots, and I will explain. We're going to explain that a little bit later on in the video. You're going to see exactly uh, what that is, and um, yeah, and I'll show you guys what I did to not make them stand out as much. Now we're gonna start off with the taper. I have the cordless T outliners. And right now I'm just placing my, uh, the ball line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fade up and then also in a way I'm gonna fade down, fade down as well. And since I started with the one guard, uh, I'll be finishing it with the zero guard. I'll be starting. 
since uh, I started with the one guard with the with the fade, I'll just be using the 0 0.5 guard. Now I have the blade open, and it also. Another thing that I really do like about the fast feeds is how quiet they are. Like, I, I, I know, uh, I think the 50 cal caliber has a clipper that's real quiet, the cordless ones, but I think those are the only ones that are really like quiet. I haven't used them, but the fast feeds, I love how they sound. And you hear everything that you're cutting. So, I just wanna let anybody know, if you are starting to be, you know, I used to, if there's anybody out there that's starting to be, you know, to try to become a barber or you're starting in the industry, I'm letting you guys know that right now. You can do some great work with the fast feeds. They definitely still have a place in 2020. For a beginning barber, I would definitely recommend the fast feeds. Like I said, I know they're corded. I know everything's cordless now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting like a magic clip or, or the gold FX, but like I said, I feel like the fast fees, man, they give out some clean blends. And I actually know a barbershop, uh, I believe majority of the barbers in this barbershop still uses mainly the fast fees, man. And uh, I believe it's in uh, New York, Mount Vernon, New York. It's a place called iCut Pro. Uh, Ty Bernard, he has his own iCut Pro Academy and everything like that. I believe that his shop still uses nothing but fast feeds. Well, I ain't gonna say nothing but fast feeds, but they use them a lot. Because I also seen the Octanes in there as well, which I, I have those and I, I love them too. Right here, I'm just tilting the blade so I don't have to use another guard to, you know, to blend that in. But that's that's a technique that I, uh, I'm starting to do even more and more and more so I can try to skip some, some stuff. So here's the part where we're going to talk about uh, what happened to the side of uh, his hair with the light spots. And analytics. Did you get cut in your head before? Before they hired um, I had been cut, yeah. I was just a of just a of And then your brought in. Was it on this side? Um, like in Philadelphia. Oh, shit, now I was, I was got a trip. Trip. We have these different It might have been like too small. Like small. Enormous, uh, Potential energy, you know, you will. Oh, uh, is it uh, they small like a dog plate? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I would have been devastated if I would have got bit by a rock bar. I'm just being honest with you. In my head. So like I said, I had the blade open and now I'm, I'm fading down. And I believe I'm going to put the 0 0.5 guard on and then fade down from there. The next, um, the next video I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to give you guys uh, better angles. I had a stationary at this one place, at this one spot because uh, it kind of works works good for me to see uh, everything. But I also want to get a little bit closer to show you guys exactly some of the things that I'm doing. This this video is not the this video is not the most detailed video. I mean, you can still see what I'm doing, but I want to do some that's, you know, really, really detailed. 
So right here, as you can see, uh, he really just wanted to be fingerless. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I started with my guy in front, and I'm just going, uh, you know, back and going like to this across to the side. Now I'm right here, I'm using some thinner shears. He, his hair is, uh, his hair texture is really, really thick up top. So he always asks me to, uh, to use the thinner shears and to thin it out just a little bit. And you'll see exactly what I mean, like what I do. Um, it's mainly just to the top and the sides. So here I'm just taking this a little bit of the bulk uh, up top. He doesn't like it being too thick. Uh, it's not exactly how he styles his hair. He wants it to feel like it's kind of like light and it'll move in the way that he wants it. He said he usually just spikes it up. So I'm trying to you know help him with the uh, with the movement. And right now I have my gold you know FX trimmers. They won the award the BMAs that Run the Barber was doing. I think it was the best tool that came out in 2019. The power clip that's on it, it got the best uh, innovation of the year. That's uh, from Tomb 45. So shout out to both of them. In the comments, please let me know how you guys think that uh, the haircut is coming out. I take all types of feedback, you know. Um, I'm, I'm not even going, you know, doing videos when, you, when you're trying to do like a YouTube channel and you see, you know, what you, uh, what you came out with. I'm telling you, you're always going to find some type of room for improvement. If it's the haircut, if it's the video, if it's the editing, whatever, like, Every time that I do this, I always feel like, you know what? I'm not putting this one out because I could have did something better. But I can't uh, do that because that doesn't allow me to see my own growth. And it doesn't allow everybody that watches me on YouTube to see my growth as well. So this is something that I'm just I'm going to continue to keep doing and keep going and keep pushing out videos. And you guys just keep giving me feedback, you know, in the comment section and I'm always going to make sure that I give you guys my best. And if you guys haven't uh, seen my recent videos, I believe that you should because I also have a giveaway um, in place right now. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers and I'm giving away a certain barber tool. So if you would like to be a part of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch the last two videos prior to this one. Right now, as you guys can see, I'm just doing some razor work. What I sprayed was just water. His, I don't really, I don't use gel on his, uh, on his skin. Uh, I just find sometimes that I really don't need to use it. If he had real harsh skin and uh, his skin was really, really sensitive, then, then that's when I would use it. 
But for right now, sometimes I just use water. He's one of the clients I can do that on. And you see how his lines coming out. The definition is so nice and clean and sharp. Excuse my elbow. Like I said, I'm, guys, I'm definitely gonna give you guys some better camera angles next video. And, um, I gotta get out of that habit of just keeping it station, stationary. So, like I said, I'm always gonna try to level up for, for you know YouTube, for everybody that's watching my videos. It's always gonna be something new, something always exciting, something information, you know, that we could just bounce you know things off. It's always gonna be something that you can get from it. And if not, you let me know so I know exactly what to give you. What would you like to see, you know, on my channel? I will have to say that this cut is coming out nice and clean. You know, like I said, the fast fees, man, they give out some great blends. And um, yeah, don't be ashamed to get the fast feeds. They're one of the oldest clippers, but they still, they still rock. I guess it's the same thing with the masters, but they got cordless masters now. So everybody's still waiting on the fast feeds. Now I'm just using the shaver, you know, just to clean up the the outline and all that loose, you know, all the loose hairs. It gives it that extra, that extra clean look. So this is the part I said this time I fix it. I grabbed the 245, put on the lowest power. I didn't put that much of uh, of the no drip in there with the darkest black, but uh, I covered a, I covered up the holes. I mean, I covered up the dog bites with the spray, and I thought that was like the best time to use it, so it doesn't stand out. And now I'm just lining them up. He wanted to get the loose hairs in front of his hair. <coughs> All right, everybody, this is the cut. Thank you for just watching this whole video with me. If you like what you're seeing, please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my page and also hit that notification bell. That's so you can see every time that I upload. Thank you for watching this. God bless you and have a beautiful day.